Top of the fourth from Eldridge Park. The Whitey Red Sox five, the Orleans Firebirds one. They just struck for it, but we've got our first Rockland Trust call to the bullpen. Rockland Trust, when it's time for a trusted arm, think Rockland Trust, 70 Main Street in Orleans, your home for banking, investment, and insurance services. Well, the Rockland Trust call to the pen for the Firebirds is none other than a lefty and Sam Conti, who comes in for Ben Shields after he put up a 1-2-3 frame. So Shields' day is over. He goes three innings of seven-hit baseball, allows five runs, but only two of them earned. Didn't walk a batter and struck out five. So Ben Shields, a story of two different tales throughout his three innings, faced eight batters for the Red Sox over the first and second innings, and then just three in that third. But he gives way to Sam Conti, who looks to limit the damage, and the Firebirds trying to claw back in this one. But it's time here on the top of the fourth for your Landho trivia question. What is the record for the most strikeouts by a pitcher in a nine-inning game? A, 21, B, 12, C, 9, or D, 20? Again, what is the record for the most strikeouts by a pitcher in a nine-inning game? 21, 12, 9, or 20? We'll answer the Lanho trivia question in the bottom of the sixth inning. So Conti out to face his first batter. It's Woody Hayden in a fastball. Misses upstairs. Hayden today, a pair of singles including a stolen base and a run scored. Scored the first run of the game. Also became the first base runner to reach in this contest. So he singled off the shields in the first inning with one away. This one called a strike by the home plate umpire, Jeff Merzell. Back to even at a ball and a strike. Aideen's day yesterday, two for five. And himself a good day and has another one going here today with back-to-back multi-hit games and his first trip to the postseason. Now four of seven, including a pair of RBIs, also a run scored. The lefty kicks and deals. Conti's pitch runs inside. True hitters count for the righty out of UC Irvine. Got a chance to speak with Firebird center fielder and Jacob Stinson, who recently announced his commitment to UC Irvine, on if he had the opportunity to talk with Hayden. Said he hadn't yet, but was looking forward to it today. But his future teammate is aboard with a walk. So the first batter that Conti faces reaches on the base on balls, and that brings up the powerful Braden Montgomery out of Stanford, playing right field here today. Montgomery and Fernando Gonzalez were the only two not to score in yesterday's game for the Whitey Red Sox. Montgomery went 0 for 4 yesterday. He came around to score after reaching on an error in the first inning. And then Fernando Gonzalez reached to lead off the top of the second inning on a single, came around to score. So every Whitey Red Sox that has appeared in a game this far in this two-game set has come around to touch home plate. 0-1. Lefty on righty matchup. Hayden takes his lead over at first. And Conti wants to check on him. Back in, standing up. Braden Montgomery recorded the save earlier today in the ninth inning. That was continued from yesterday's Game 1 matchup. 12 to 11, the final on that one. The Whitey Red Sox just one win away from moving on to the second round here in the East Division. Ball in a strike. Lefty ready and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Elevated fastball. Had Montgomery looking for extra bases, but he came up empty. Montgomery today mentioned reached on the air. And came around to score. Most recently struck out against Ben Shields. One of the five strikeouts that Shields picked up over three innings. A lefty ready. Comes home and just, oh, rather hit the zone. Late call from the home, pie, home plate umpire and Jeff Merzell as Montgomery's down looking. Second strikeout of the contest. First looking and the first of the game. For Sam Conti, 
Conti out of Trinity University has posted an 0-1 record with a 4.5 ERA. This is the seventh time he's come in from the bullpen. Gone 10 innings over that stretch, striking out 12 and walking 3. Also giving up five earned runs. A lot of those came in one contest against the Brewster Whitecaps at Stony Brook Field. Hayden shot one for two on the day, has reached in both trips to the dish. Once on a single where he came around to score in the first inning, as well as a error that produced a run. Conti falls behind. Ball and no strikes. And the pitch, this one lined back up the middle. It's headed for center field. Another base hit for the Red Sox. They're eighth of the contest. So first and second for YD with Mike Bovey coming up. And Bovey has been a Firebird killer. Three for five here in the postseason coming into today. And that in yesterday's game, including a double, an RBI, and scored two runs. Thus far today, has a strikeout and an RBI single. He'll get another R RBI opportunity with two runners aboard and one away. First time he faces Conti. Lefty on lefty matchup. Conti deals. This one in the dirt. Picked by Burns. Conti struggling to get those first pitch strikes across the plate. So pivotal. Well, Bovey out of Nebraska Omaha had himself quite a year in the spring and has carried that over into this season for Scott Pickler's group. Looking for back-to-back multi-hit games here in the postseason. Not enticing as Conti went with a fastball. 2-0. and Sam Conti, five strikes to eight balls thus far. Got to find the zone. Walked his first batter in Woody Hayden, who stands at second, now at risk of walking another one. Behind in the count, 3-0 and to Mike Bovey. Homer Bush Jr. stands on deck. And just one Whitey batsman has yet to reach here in this contest. Bovey's aboard for the second time tonight. Second walk of the inning issued by Conti. And the bases are jammed. So here is the left fielder and Homer Bush Jr., but pitching coach. And Cole Cook wants to have a conversation with the lefty out of Trinity. Action going on in the Firebirds bullpen. A couple guys getting loose. Amongst them, Ryan Rhesus. Expect that Conti will stay in the game. But anything more, and maybe looking at a second call to the bullpen. That was the story of yesterday's game. Gray Harrison started that contest going three and a third, giving up five hits and three earned runs, but Firebirds had a commanding lead when Harrison exited the game, followed it up with Reynolds, Kramer, Hoffey, and Allen, and it just wasn't exactly what the bullpen had in mind. True shootout yesterday. That ended at about 12.15 today. Got through eight innings of baseball last night before darkness prevailed. Conti ready with the bases loaded. This one struck well, but at the second baseman, Urso. He'll throw to second, and getting back to the bag is McCleary. They salvage an out on what could have been a double play ball. But another run picked up for YD as Woody Hayden, who led off the inning with a walk, comes around to score. Got down on the base paths is Mike Bovey. So Hayden Schott moves up to third on the fielder's choice off the bat of Homer Bush. Defense today for the Firebirds has not been shining as it usually does. 
team during the regular season that was in the upper echelon of fielding statistics. Become a bit unglued here today. Runners at the corners and two away. Conti delivers home and Johnny Long takes strike one. Well, Long was a difference maker in yesterday's ball game. Poked one over the wall in right field with the bases loaded for a grand slam. Ended up going two for four. Saudi one for two in this game and added two RBIs on a single in the first. Big swing and a miss. Rather he foul tips it back into the glove of Connor Burns. But regardless, it's 0-2. Now the catcher out of Long Beach wants to come out and relay a message to his infield, what they want to do in a count where it's possible that Homer Bush may be running. Long, the fifth batter of the inning. Pitch home, taken, a fastball. Just missed the top of the zone. Long, the first baseman. Essentially the entire summer for the YD Red Sox. Has swung it well, hit his sixth home run with that grand slam yesterday night. And Luke, he has... Titanic opposite field power. Six home runs on the season, including the Grand Slam yesterday. He's got two in his last three games, and five of the six home runs have come either to center field or the opposite field over the right field fence. Can really hit it to all fields. Conti delivers this one skied high in the air. Center field should be playable for Stinson, who comes on and appeared to have lost it in the night sky, but able to grab himself, and pick up the final out of the inning. So YD picks up one lone run. They leave two aboard the base paths after picking up just one hit in the inning. A pair of walks are what hurt Sam Conti the most. So we head to the bottom of the fourth where the Firebirds will be coming up. Jacob Stinson, Connor Burns, and Logan Beard.